Hi, it's Darnell with Weight Loving Recipes, and today I'm going to be trying some frozen sausage in the New Wave Brio 14Q digital air fryer oven. So we can see how well it does with some frozen sausage, and we're going to get started with that right now. All right, so I've got my sausage here fully frozen, and I'm actually down to my last couple pieces of sausage. So I'm going to basically put those onto the mesh rack here. And going to put them right into the New Wave Brio 14Q. Not going to do any preheat here. And I'm going to turn the Brio on. I'm going to up the tip all the way to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooking time, I'm going to drop down to just 13 minutes. I'm going to hit start. And I'll bring you back in just 13 minutes. All right, we're coming into the final 10 seconds of 13 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got my thermopin, so I'll check the temperature and see how well the sausage was cooked. But everything is smelling nice. Looks like it's very well done and very well cooked. So even 13 minutes was probably a little even too much because this cooked so well. So. Have a look at those there. I'm going to take one and just set it, well I'll just set both on the plate here. Just set the tray out the way there. And let's uh, just do a slice through here. You can see it's, you know, definitely all the way done. But I'll move the camera around and we'll do a taste test. Alright, let's do a quick taste test of this frozen sausage. Turns out perfect. You can see the top, you know, of course, since the heat comes from the top down, gets most of that searing. The underside is well cooked though, but doesn't get, you know, as much sear as the top does. And all the same, you know, you want to get your frozen sausage up to about maybe 175 to ensure it's really well cooked. And this got cooked a little over 175, so even though the top looks really well seared, 13 minutes is still probably about right for the cooking time in the New Wave Braille 14Q. So, you can find this, other recipes, heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com in written form. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. Also, in the video descriptions, uh, in the video description are links for this and other cookers if you're interested in getting those through my referral links. Pay the same price but help this channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.